All right. Another funny. I love it when it's funny. This woman, this congresswoman, She's got the biggest balls. Calling him out, Jamal Bowman, on the fire alarm escapade. It was pandemonium, I tell you. Pandemonium. Let's see what she has to say, and what is she going to show us about this? And I'm still waiting for the video to come out. Because apparently there was a video, not just these steel shots we've been getting, of him pulling the alarm. I can imagine what the video is going to show. Now, we saw the screenshot, his hands on the, on, the, on the alarm. So you think in the video, let's see, he's all doing this. Oh, man. All right, the coast is clear. Let me look for a camera. Shit, I don't see a camera. Hell, let's go for it. King, he pulls the alarm. <laughs> now, if you see him doing this, he's looking around because we know he claimed. I just, you know, I just pulled it because I wanted the door to open. <laughs> so, I'm waiting with bated breath for that video to come out. Now, they got to run their investigation. <laughs> we have to have a committee. We need that video pulled. Let's let's get another committee together. How many damn committees do they have in Washington, for Pete's sake? We need a committee. Let's get this uh, video, and uh, let's see what's going on here. <laughs> Hi, everyone. We are at the infamous door where Jamal Bowman claims he infamous. had to pull a fire alarm to get out. Now, these doors are open on weekdays. Every member of Congress knows that. Everybody that works here knows that. But on Saturdays and Sundays, they are locked and only certain doors are open on Saturdays and Sundays. Now, come on over here. This right here is a fire alarm. Nowhere does it say, pull the fire alarm to open the exit door. And it had no, you know, you, you know, at some places you'll have the one beside it that's like silver and it's say for handicap, the handicap thing. Yeah, you'll have that handicap. Push the button to open the door. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Doesn't say that, and I think ex-middle school principals know better. Oh, Let snap. me show you how we go when we need to go vote. I know this because my office is in here in Cannon Building. Come on, go this way. And he knows this, too. He knows all of the same crap she knows. <laughs> Get some exercise. There you go. Oh, look, there's stairs. <laughs> Lo and behold, there's some stairs. Can't take elevators in a fire alarm. By the way, we had to use the stairs to evacuate the Cannon building after Jamal Bowman pulled the fire alarm. <laughs> now, here's where you have an option. As a member of the Congress, we can continue to go down the stairs this way. There's options. And we can go in the basement and we can walk in the tunnel that goes under the road to the Capitol. We do that all the time, especially if the weather's bad. Or we can come around this way. <laughs> I love her candor, her, her sense of humor in a way. See where that says exit? Oh. It exits out on New Jersey. This one is open all the time. <laughs> Not just some of the time, all the time. So, it wasn't that far of a walk, if y'all noticed. It, it wasn't that far of a walk. It really wasn't. Let's explain very clearly again. And he was in a hurry. He needed to go vote, keeping that in mind. He was in a hurry. He wanted to do his civic public duty to go vote. <laughs> oh, my God.
Jamal Bowman didn't pull the fire alarm to try to get out of the building because he had to rush to go vote. I know that for a fact because I also work in the Cannon office building and I watch Catherine Clark, the Democrat whip, make a motion to adjourn and then within minutes, Jamal Bowman pulled a fire alarm and he knew he was pulling a fire alarm because he's a former middle school principal. Yeah, so what they did was they were like, hey, all right, I'm going to be on the floor and I'm going to I'm going to ask for for us to adjourn. While I'm doing that, you go pull the fire alarm. I'll be in here doing this. I'm going to tell them we need to adjourn and come back after the weekend. Because I got things to do. <laughs> we need to stall this. Because we want, we want, we want the government to shut down and blame it on the Republicans. So, we've got our co covert operation in place. <laughs> now go pull that alarm. And then he ran out of the building and didn't tell anybody he did that. And this building was evacuated for over an hour. I want to see footage of him running. She said he ran out of the building. So, oh, shit. I pulled the damn alarm. I better run. It crap. It didn't open the door. And Congress had to hold the vote open. That's usually only 15 minutes on the first vote. They held it open for over an hour as well. Oh, There's some serious problems for Jamal Bowman, and he needs to be prosecuted for violating the same federal law that they are prosecuting January 6th defendants and President Trump. Wow. Wow. <laughs> She's got balls. You got to admit, this, this was good. This was good. But take a look at this. Take a look at this. Let's see. Let me make sure I get these in there. <laughs> I'm sick of double standards. <laughs> okay. This is a good one. I'm surprised that YouTube hasn't pulled this video for misinformation or added a fact check to it. How the hell is this misinformation? There's a bloody video of him doing this. We got steel shots that was released to the to the public showing his hand on it. He admitted doing this. How does this need to be fact checked? These people. I'll tell you what, it's right in front of their face and look up. No, I don't believe it. I don't believe he did this. He admitted doing this. He admitted it for Pete's sake. Why does it need to be fact checked? That comment got 39 thumbs up. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh my God. Look at this comment. The fact that any one of these politicians are in control of our policies is disgusting and frightening. Yes, it is. They know exactly what they're doing, people. They know it's all BS. They don't care. They just want their money for Ukraine. Okay. All right. Let's get together. Let's get together. All the libtards. All the lip tards, let's get together. We've got to get those billions for Ukraine. You, go pull the fire alarm. You, go stall on the floor. <laughs> I mean, come on. It is ridiculously comical and frightening and terrifying all at the same time. Well, there you go. There you go. I'll put the uh, link in the description and y'all can go because the comments are just hysterical but anyway that's what's going on